A lot of us rode our first motorcycles in road rash. A lot of us got our first adrenaline rush pulling high speed stunts in road rash. A lot of us thought it was the first and maybe the only road rash around, right? Let me throw in a little bit of history on this. Bear with me because I would like to tell a tale about the redemption of a title we all grew up with. It's called the Road Redemption. Thank you all for your love and support for pushing the Ghost Runner video for more than 3000 views. I love you guys and hope you continue supporting us. Road Rush has been there since 1991. It's true that PC gamers only got so much less out of the original Road Rash of 1994 which was published by EA or Electronic Arts back then. There had been other versions like Road Rash 2, Road Rash 3, 3D, Jailbreak and so on and so forth, but nothing ever came to the PC. EA had pretty much given up on the franchise and it was up to one of the fans of the game to take up the mantle to the next Road Rash. EA and Fish raised quite a handsome sum through the crowdfunding and it was set to release in 2014. But it didn't. After a period of cancellation and delayed dates, it finally came out in October 2018. And what was it called? It was called Road Redemption because quite frankly, it was the redemption of the Road Rush itself. Now before a lot of you raise your eyebrows and say, "But that was so long ago. Like that's pre-COVID news and all, bro." Let me tell you why I had to give this one a spotlight. The game developers didn't release the game and just disappear. They have been constantly upgrading it with new updates and patches. This game definitely needs a mention because we all remember that little kiddo inside us who used to get excited on high revving motorcycles sipping past the competition. Now let's take a closer look at Road Redemption. This game is the spiritual successor of Road Rush. The story is pretty half baked and makes absolutely no sense, but it is never about the story in this one. You race across different maps like the original Road Rush, but this time around things are even more brutal. Machine guns, shotguns, grenades, time bombs, katana swords, pipes and bats. You name it and everything is there. It will put Bollywood's doom to shame. There are objectives for each race. It can be about getting n number of kills before the race ends or about taking out an enemy boss or a time trial or maybe just a straightforward race. Although the maps and enemies are randomly generated, there are new varieties added as you go forward. from new police units to armored enemy riders and of course meaner opponents with cooler bikes now the story is not one constant progression from start to stop you start off with a certain amount of health and you lose it when you take damage or crash your bike you gain health nitrous money and experience as you take down other riders as you try to achieve the objective of each race if you can't achieve the objective you immediately lose 25% of your total health There are no restarts also. Once each race is over, you are taken to a shop where you can buy upgrades, health boosts, nitro scans, and even weapon upgrades. Sounds like a straightforward system, right? But the twist is, once your health is over in a race, it's a permanent game over and you lose all the upgrades you have bought so far and you have to start again from the start. But you will not lose your XP, which you can use to upgrade your skill tree. These are permanent upgrades other than the ones you find in the shop, which is like character building for you in a way. Basically you will end up replaying a lot of the levels from start although you can spend XP points later on to skip some levels. This system is a bit irritating for me because you would have won some 12 races in a row and for one bad race you have to start from the very beginning. To add insult to injury, you will have to hit a game over every now and then to access the permanent upgrade, which means it's hours and hours of the same level being replayed. Even if you crash or end up stuck in some obstacle due to a game bug, there is a reset option, but you have to press your escape button to access it, which is something else I don't like. It definitely looks generations ahead of the original Road Rush, but I won't call it top notch. I have played several games which look and feel better than Road Redemption, as you would have noticed from the gameplay footage. Gameplay is a lot of fun though. There is some room for creativity and some real cool moments for all in this. Although it can get slightly buggy at times, overall the control and mechanics feel really good. There aren't many customization options. You unlock new bikes and characters as you finish levels, and there are some minor color selection options. There is a multiplayer option also. You can do it locally and online. I wouldn't recommend it because you will have to spend hours searching for a game online. And finally I would like to say Road Redemption was not reviewed, analyzed or perceived by Soul Logic or criteria which are applicable for all games. This one is more about the heart than the brain. 
Road Rash was an emotion back in the days and I never understood why a successful franchise never got a second chance. The cult was always there, fans knew how big it was and we all loved it. But it never got a second chance. Is Road Redemption a successor for Road Rash? Well, it hasn't changed much except for the graphics, new weapons and RPG elements. It has preserved the feel of the original game. And it is bad if it hasn't met the expectation build up over the course of 14 years. If you are a fan of Road Rush, you might have loved it for the simplicity and Road Redemption puts a layer of new things on top of the simplicity. I would prefer the original game maybe, but then that is another time period and my expectations were minimal. It all comes to personal choice, like the difference between the classic Lion King and the live action version that came out last year. Same story, but a lot different. Are you on team Road Rush or Road Redemption? Let's hear it in the comments. Subscribe to Rat for the latest and greatest in games. Hit the like button and the bell icon for our regular updates. When you hit game over in Road Redemption, they will ask you to let Ian Fisk know about the game along with the number. Yes, the same Ian Fisk who started the crowdfunding for the next Road Rush. Happy gaming and I will catch you all in the next one.